Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can reset your forgotten Windows 10 password without using any third-party applications. This solution would equally work for Windows 7, 8 and 8.1. Before you proceed with the process, you need to have your Windows installation media on a bootable USB flash stick or a DVD. If you are yet to create one, I've made an easy to follow tutorial on how you can do that. I will drop the link in the description section. So here I have my Windows 10 installation media on a DVD. Again, you can have it on a USB flash stick, it doesn't matter. All you need to do is to change your boot priority order from the BIOS settings. Or if your PC allows the option of choosing a one-time boot device, then you can simply choose to boot from the USB device where you have your Windows installation media. So first you need to restart your PC and boot from the drive where you have your Windows installation files. So here I'll be booting from my CD-ROM drive. Then here I'll hit any key to boot from the CD or DVD and wait for the Windows setup to load. If you are using a USB stick, it will take you straight to the Windows setup page so you don't have to press any key to boot to it. So here I will click Next. Then on this next window, click on Repair your computer. And here you should select Troubleshoot and then click on command prompt from the options. Then the command prompt window will pop up. Here type the command disk part as shown on the screen and hit enter. Then on the disk part prompt type list volume and hit enter. It will show a list of all the available volumes on your PC so here I have three volumes, 0, 1 and 2 with letters E, C and D respectively. Volume 0 is the DVD-ROM where I have my Windows 10 installation files. Volume 1 is the actual system partition which holds my Windows operating system and all my applications and files and folders. While Volume 2 is the system reserved partition. Now the partition we are interested in is Volume 1. So I will need to remember the letter that corresponds to this volume, which in my case is letter C. You might have a different letter, so be sure to use the letter that corresponds to the actual system partition. This is usually the largest partition, except you have manually done some disk partitioning, in which case you will need to figure out which volume has your actual partition with your Windows operating system. And by the way, you should pay attention to the prefix of each volume unit, as larger numbers doesn't necessarily mean larger volume. So here my largest volume is volume 1 with 39 gigabytes. So I will note the volume later, which is letter C. Now I'm going to exit from disk part by typing exit and then hit enter. Now type the letters CLS and hit enter. Then you should see a clear screen like this. Here type the letter that corresponds to the volume with your operating system. In my case, it's C, so I'll type C and colon without spaces and then hit enter. Now type in CD space Windows and hit enter. Then again, type CD space system32 without space and hit enter. Now we are going to back up the utility manager by typing copy space U T I L M A N dot E X E space U T I L M A N dot E X E dot copy. You can pause the video and ensure you have this line spelled correctly. Then hit enter. It should say one file copied. Now type again copy space cmd dot exe space cmd dot exe dot copy and hit enter again it should say one file copied now we are going to delete the old utility manager file by typing del space utilman dot exe and hit enter. Then type rename space 
cmd.exe space u-t-i-l-m-a-n dot e-x-e and hit enter you can pause the video at any time and check again that you have these commands properly spelled out now close the command prompt and click on continue to exit and continue to windows 10. Now on this window where it asks for your password, click on the ease of access icon on the right corner of the window here. A command prompt terminal like this should pop up. Here type control user passwords 2 and hit enter. Again check the spelling correctly and ensure you have the spacing correctly as well. Now a window like this will pop up showing the user accounts on your PC. Here click on the account you forgot the password and then click on reset password. You should see a password reset dialog box like this. Here you should enter a new password and enter again to confirm. Now click on OK and then OK again here. Then you can close the command prompt window. Now you can log back into your windows with the new password you just created. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions regarding the procedures in the video, you can drop in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Leave a like if you found this video useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for notification on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.